Hello everyone. Today we're gonna be reading the instruction manual thingy in the Wii Party box for 30 subscribers. So let's get started. Here's the cover. Um the safety and warranty stuff. And then the table of contents. Um Russian rips strap use. Please use the wrist strap to help prevent injury to other people or damage to surrounding objects or the Wii Remote in case you accidentally let go of the Wii Remote during gameplay. Also remember the following. Make sure all players put on the wrist, wrist strap properly when it is their turn. Do not let go of the Wii Remote during gameplay. Dry your hands if they become moist. Allow adequate room around you during gameplay and make sure that all areas you might move into are clear of other people and objects. Stay at least three feet from the television. Use the Wii Remote Jacket. This is a menu update. Please note that when first loading the game disc into the Wii console, the system will check if you have the latest version of the system, system menu, and if necessary, a Wii system menu screen will appear. Select OK to proceed with the update. Please note that the Wii console must have the latest version of the Wii system menu in order to play the game disc. When the system menu is updated, modifications may be detected and unauthorized content may be removed, causing the immediate or delayed inoperability of your console. Failure to accept the update may render this game and future games unplayable. Please note that Nintendo cannot guarantee that unauthorized software or accessories will continue to function with the Wii console after this or for or future updates of the Wii system menu. Uh, there's a diagram of the remote. All the buttons. There's the A button. Yeah, that. Uh, controls. We probably just played using the Wii Remote controller. If two or more people are playing, please connect an additional Wii Remote for each player. Nope. Depending on the game mode, there will be times when the number of players differs from the number of Wii Remotes being used. Holding the Wii Remote. Hold the Wii Remote as shown. Right. Like that. For instructions on how to secure the Wii Remote and Wii Jacket and Wii Remote Jacket, please see the Wii Operations Manual and the Wii Remote Jacket Manual. Holding the Wii Remote sideways. Some games require the we were about to be held sideways as shown. Alright, here. There. Please note, in house party mode, age 17 to 19, there are games in which multiple Wii Remote controllers are placed on the floor or a table, or one Wii Remote is passed around among multiple players. For these games, please be careful with the Wii Remote controllers. Wii Remote. For menu selections, point with the Wii Remote or use the D-pad to aim the pointer at and then press A to make a selection. If you go back to a previous screen, press B or point to the back thing and press A. For individual game controls, please read the explanations on screen. Pointing. With the pointer facing the TV screen, line up the Wii Remote with the place you want to point at. You can use the pointer to make many selections. You'll also use the pointer to play some of the games. Starting the game. Insert the Wii Play... Not Wii Play, Wii Party. Insert the Wii Party game disc into the disc slot on the Wii console. The console power will turn on. Health and safety screen. Screen on the right will be displayed once you have read the message, press A to continue. There's a health and safety or anything. That's the when you're weak, sir. 
to Wii Menu. On the Wii Menu, point at the disc channel and press A to bring up the channel preview screen. Note, if the disc channel does not appear in the Wii Menu, please read System Menu Update, page 4. 3. Channel Preview Screen Point up, start, and press A to bring up the strap usage screen. 4. Strap Usage Screen Once you have properly adjusted your wrist strap, press A to reach the title screen. Title Screen Press A and B at the same time to proceed to the main menu. Page 9 to 10 First Time Player Playing First Time Playing the first time this game is played, a Wii Party save file will be created. Two empty blocks on the Wii console are necessary to create the save file. About saving. Information, get game records and rankings for each participating me trademark are saved automatically in a save file. Please be careful if participating me characters are erased from the Wii console or deleted from the me channel. Their information will be erased from the game. Note, if you wish to delete this game's save file, delete the save data from the data management screen in, window in Wii options. Note, if you want to delete a me, you can transfer that me character's information to another me. After deleting the me, choose a me tra to transfer the information from the me to from the me from the me selection screen. Main menu. Here's the main menu. Check on it. There. It's right there. Point to the screen or use the D pad, and then press A to confirm your selection. Party games, page 14 to 15. Uh, pair games, page 16. Other menus, page 10. Host party, page 17 to 19. Playing games. Point the cursor at a game to see about how long it takes to play. Choose the game you'd like to play. Once you've confirmed the game contents and number of players, press A to continue. Game progression. See page 11 to 13. Other menus. You can select. You can also select from the follow. You can also select from the following three menus on the main menu. Questions. Answer questions about the number of players and the way you want to play, and see suggestions about which game to play. Rankings. View high scores on best times for games like Friend Connection and Balance Boat. Mini games. A variety of mini game modes. Page 21 to 22. For details, see page 20. Uh, the basics. Choose the number of players and me characters in order using the steps below. When the when a game finishes, the rankings and scores are announced. Number of players. The number of players that can be selected depends on the type of game being played and the number of Wii remotes connected. Adding Wii remotes. You can add one Wii remote at a time by selecting Add Wii Remote. Press one and two at the same time. On the Wii remote you want to add. Once the Wii remote is connected, the relative icon on the screen will light up. No, you can also connect additional Wii remotes from the home menu. Me selection. Select a me you want to play with. You can choose a me, save to the Wii, console, or a guest me. Note for information on how to add a me to your Wii console, please see the Wii operations manual. Note. You cannot choose a me that is saved on the Wii Remote. 3. CPU Skill Depending on the game, CPU Wii characters will be added automatically. You can choose the skill of these computer controlled players. Also, for some games, you can choose the number of rounds or the difficulty level. Choose Start to begin the game. 4. Starting a game When a game is played for the first time, the rules will be explained by the host. From the second time on, you can choose whether to or not to hear the game explanation. Press minus to skip an explanation and start the game. During each game, you'll also play several mini games. To learn the rules, view the rules screen. To learn the controls, view the control screen. Choose start to begin a mini game. 
You can also choose to practice each mini game if you'd like. 5. Scores and rankings. When a game is finished, the scores are announced. Press A to proceed and see the overall rankings. 6. Finishing a game. Once the scores and rankings are announced, a menu like the one shown to the right is displayed. This is the menu. You see that? It's right here. Which uh, menu? Uh. You like that? <laughs> Why does my hair keep falling down? Pause menu. You can pause a game or mini game by pressing plus. Oh, I didn't finish the last one. Um. You can choose to replay the same game or return to the main menu. If you started the game from suggestions, you can also see another suggestion. Page 10. Uh, note. The menu display may differ depending on the situation. Pause menu. You can pause the game or remaining game by pressing plus to access the pause menu. You can then continue the game by pressing plus again or choose another option. Continue. Return to the game. Restart. Start the game over from the beginning. Autoplay. This is only available on the pause menu of party games. You can change a me that started as a human player to CPU control. Except player 1. You can also remove revert a me from CPU control if it started as a human player. And the game and return to the main menu. When you quit a game, your progress will not be saved, so please be careful. Party games. Games for four players, including the computer. One to four human players can participate. Uh, orange indicates the number of players. Blue indicates the approximate length of the game. Board Game Island. One to four players. 45 minutes. A board game in which players roll dice to move along the path toward the top of the island. The order players roll the dice each round is decided by a mini game. Players who come in first through third win a bonus die to roll around to roll along with the standard die. The player who reaches the top of the island first is the winner. Uh Globe Trot. One to four players. <laughs> 60 minutes. Players turn over a number of cards and move the indicated number of spaces. Players win coins and minigames that can be used to purchase vehicle cards to help them advance or at airports and seaports to travel long distances. When players reach a hotspot, they can purchase a souvenir photo for 10 coins. After 10 turns, overtime begins and the first player to reach a hotspot and take this and take a souvenir photo ends the game. The player who has collected the most souvenir photos and coins at that point is the winner. Swap meet. One to four players, 30 to 45 minutes. Players take turns choosing a me from the middle to swap out with a me from their area. Players who collect three me characters with the same colored outfits and two different rows win point. Various bonuses are possible depending on how many characters are matched. So the points players will receive also varies. The player who has the most points after a set number of rounds is the winner. Uh, spin off. One to four players, 30 minutes. Players take turns spinning a wheel to earn medals. Depending on where the wheel stops, players can win medals, lose medals, or can also add medals to the bank. Players can also win medals saved up in the bank by winning many games. After 10 turns, overtime begin, and the game soon, and the game ends after somebody wins a bank battle. 10 turns pass in overtime. Many game automatically accrues that will award the remaining medals in the bank. Once overtime is ended, the player with the most medals is a winner. Bingo! 1-4 to four players, 15 minutes. 
players check off me characters on their bingo cards that match me balls that drop from the bingo machine. If a mini game ball drops from the bingo machine, players play, play a mini game and the winner checks off of me of his or her choice. The first player to complete a horizontal, vertical, or diagonal row gets a boat, bongo, bingo, and is a winner. Uh, friend connection. Pair games. Pair games are designed for two players. A single player can also play balance mode and match up with the computer as a partner or opponent. Friend connection. Two players. Five minutes. Two players answer a series of questions and play a cooperative minigame to find out their friend connection. In the question test, players answer five questions using the D-pad. In the minigame test, players must cooperate to clear the minigame. After both tests are completed, the friend connection score is announced. The higher the score, the better the friend the pair ranking the two players will earn. Note, friend connection requires two players. Balance vote. One to two players. Five to fifteen minutes. Players balance me characters on the spars of a boat that match the color of each me character's outfit. The size of each me character depends on the results of a mini game. If the two players can successfully balance 20 me characters without tipping over the boat and dunking any into the water, they can win the game. Match up: one to two players, 15 minutes. Players match up me characters wearing the same colored shirts into pairs to score points. Players don't know what color the me character shirts are until they select them. Players fail to match up a pair, they lose a heart. If players lose all their hearts, they lose a turn. The player with the most points at the end of the game is the winner. House Party House Party games are designed for two or more players and use the room beyond the TV screen, screen as part of the fun. Animal Tracker Two to four players, five minutes. From all the Wii remotes being used, players try to be the first to grab the one playing the correct animal sound. To play this game, line up the Wii remotes on a flat surface, like a table or the floor. Players earn one point each time they grab the correct Wii remote first. The first player to get three points is a winner. Please note, this game requires at least two Wii remote controllers regardless of the number of players. Be sure to turn up volume on each Wii Remote Controller speaker before playing. When placing the Wii Remote Controllers on a flat surface, do not use the wrist strap. Hide and Hunt 2-4 to four players, 15 minutes. One player, the hider, hides the Wii Remotes being used and the other players, the hunters, try to find them before the time runs out. During the hunting phase, each Wii Remote will make a hint sound every 10 seconds. Please note, this game requires 1-4 to four Wii Remote controllers regardless of the number of players. Be sure to turn up the volume on each Wii Remote controller speaker before playing. Careful not to hide the Wii Remote controllers in places where they might get damaged. If the Wii Remote controllers are hidden two frames from the Wii console, communications with the Wii Remote can be interrupted, which may affect gameplay. If this occurs, bring the Wii Remote controllers to the closer to the Wii console and press any button. Time Bomb Whoa. 2 to 4 players, 5 minutes. Players pass around a Wii Remote like a Time Bomb that will explode if shaken. Each player passes the Wii Remote while holding the button displayed on the screen. The next player then takes the Wii Remote while holding the button displayed. If the Wii Remote is shaken too much, the the wrong buttons are pushed, or both players release their buttons at the same time. Bomb will explode. Please note, this game requires one Wii Remote Controller, regardless of the number of players. Be sure to turn up the volume on each Wii Remote Controller speaker before playing and turn on the rumble feature. This game is played without using the wrist strap. Word Bomb. Word bomb. Two to four players, five minutes. Players say a word within the given category and pass the Wii Remote Bomb before the time limit is up. Press A after saying an answer word and then press and then pass the Wii Remote to the next player. The next player thinks the previous player's 
answer didn't fit the category or was already said, you can press 2 to pass it back. If a player fails to say a word and then pre and press A, for a time runs out, the bomb will explode. Please note, this game requires one Wii Remote Controller regardless of the number of players. Be sure to turn up the volume on each Wii Remote Controllers before playing and turn on the rumble feature. This game is played without using the wrist strap. Note, the Wii Remote speaker volume and rumble se settings can be adjusted from the home menu. Buddy Quiz 3 to 4 players 5 minutes Players dis designate one participant as the buddy and try to correctly predict the buddy's answers to a series of questions. Players answer the questions using the D-pad. If a player correctly predicts the buddy's answer, points are scored. After all the questions have been answered, the player with the most points is the winner. Please note, this game requires the same number of Wii Remote controllers as players. In this game, the buddy does not compete to win the game. Mini Game Modes From the main menu, select mini games to access the following modes. Note, certain conditions must be met to unlock some game modes. Replay 1 to 4 players, 5 minutes. Players can choose any mini game to play at, at to play one at a time. Battle, 1 to 4 players, 5 30 minutes. Players battle it out to win a number of minigames. Solo, 1 player, 15 to 60 minutes. A single player minigame challenge. Challenge, 1 to 4 players, 5 to 30 minutes. A set of more challenging minigames. Page 22. Mini games. This is a list of all the mini games included in Wii Party. For instructions on how to play each one, please read the rules and control screens before playing each mini game. Page 12. Four player mini games: Derby Dash, Fifty Gifts, Chop Chops, Jumbo Jump, Popcorn Posse, Clap Hurdles, Puzzle Pickup, Moon Landing, Zombie Tag, Flag Fracas, Smile Snap. Spicy Descent, Ram Jam, Feathered Frenzy, Gold Goal Getters, Saucer Snap, Quicker Chipper, Pull Your Face, Maze Days, Proper Oppers, Face Brawl, Stop Watchers, Friendly Face Off, Barrel Daredevil, Crash Balls, oh, Tropical Punch, Strategy Steps, Pearl Thunder, Hammerheads, Cosmic Capers, Rope Sling, Face Flip, Spotlight Fight, Shutter Cup, Cry Babies, that one's my least favorite, Lucky Launch, Back Attack, Chin Up Champ, Walk Off, Balloon, buggy, balloon Buggies, Risky Railroad, 1v3 Mini Games, Splash Bash, Flying Fruit, Hide and Peak, Lumber Wax, Codes Aerobics, 1v1 mini games, Commuter Count, Timber Topple, Delivery Duel, Pop Up Bandit, Channel Changers, Springtime, Pop In Pilots, Plague Foot Race, Roll to the Goal, and Fruit Focus. Pair mini games, Bumper Crop, Robot Factory, Paddle Pals, Flashlight Fright, Basket Bonanza, Trippy Troopers, Meet and Greet, Vision Button. Mission Buddies Pop Coaster, Flycicle Team, Sheep Crossing, Pump Cart Panic, Blastronauts, Rodent Rundown, Hand Poppers, Spring Ringers, Bobsled Highway, Jump Rope Jam, Teamwork Temple, Color Coordination, Clo Clover Hunt, Banana Blockade, Challenge Mini Games. Select Challenge from the Mini Games menu to play some more challenging versions of some. Familiar mini games and also some only ones. Note: conditions must be met to unlock some of the challenges.